Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to automatically form my cell based on cell value uh, and uh, how to do that with a very simple macro. So actually the scenario here is very easy. Um, it might be that you have a cell, multiple cells, and then you want to um, you want to format it to like say yellow background if it contains uh, the text cell or you might have a number of cells and then you want to uh, conditional format it to like yellow background if it has um, a text cell. So um, actually you might be wondering like isn't that something that we can do with just filter and yes you're right like say if this is a uh, list um, you may just really select uh, the header row and then go to home and then filter and then filter out for all the um, cells that contain cells and then just format them all period yes you can definitely do it like that with the simple um, excel spreadsheets but there are times when you might not want to do it like that and one uh, scenario for that is maybe you have too many spreadsheets you might have like one spreadsheet for um, each of the departments or each of the jobs and then you might have uh, that uh, for different countries so you don't want to manually filter for every single tab da -da 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 -da, and then and uh, all format them to yellow. And the second scenario is that, okay, you, you have a really extensive complex uh, spreadsheet that is ever changing based on uh, some criteria. And uh, you don't want it to be every time uh, the spreadsheet is changing, you have to still go back and manually select them and filter them. So this is when uh, a very simple macro comes in handy. Uh, and uh, I'll show you the code in just one minute. So let's click um, outer and F11. Um, and uh, this is actually the code. Oops. This is actually the code that I prepared for our um, scenario here. So let me just um, try it for you so let's look at the first request um, so we want to format this to yellow uh, background so let's click into the sub and then go to run sub and then you see yeah it is uh, highlighted and then for my second request here um, I basically say I want to um, format everything to uh, that contains cell so basically I go to my second uh, sub click anywhere and then go uh, run sub and then boom you see like I have all the ones contain cell uh, color formatted so how did i do that so let me just explain to you what the code means and as always i will copy the code into the description and then you can really just uh, copy and paste into your um, own spreadsheet and just make sure that you save whenever you um you finish copying and saving save it as a macro enabled document so that later on you can run it from the module here if you're not familiar with it uh, feel free to go back to my um, uh, playlist of um, how to do uh, excel macro for beginners okay so let's look at the first request here so um it is basically those four lines of code and i'm basically saying that well if in the string like in the string which is cell b5 um the range b5 contains tags of cells then i want to color code the interior to yellow you see like it's reading a natural language and then end the if statement and, and the sub and that's what um, did the work and then let's look at the second one so the second one is a little bit more complex because you do need a, a, a loop function so basically the code here is saying that uh, first you need to define i as an integer which is um, the cell that's looping through each row so from i um i equals to eight from eight to 15 which is exactly the rows that i want my code to loop um and we say that for all the uh from eight to 15 if um the range uh which is column b uh and i and this is 
every single um, row that we have. So for example, when i equals to eight, then I say if um, range or cell be eight contains uh, text cell, then I want to color the interior to yellow. And I end if, and I go to the next i, which is nine, and then it loops until i gets to 15. And I end the sub after that. So that's how uh, Excel was able to loop through each cell and then define, uh, uh, look at the criteria and then decide whether it can, um, it needs to be color coded or not. So it's that easy. And uh, this has been very handy for me in very complex um, spreadsheets. And I'm sharing this code with you and I hope that you find it helpful. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.